Hello beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Alicia and this is Docs on a Budget. And in today's video, we are going to be filming my first cash stuffing of April with paycheck number one. So if that is something that you are interested in seeing, just keep watching. All right, you guys, I am back. So we should have $993 here to stuff today. So let's go ahead and count it and get it set up. We have 100, 200, 300. We have 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40. So that's $940. We have 950, 60, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 991, 92, 93. Oh, <laughs> that dollar's ripped, but <laughs> we have $993. How are you guys doing? How was your weekend? I hope everyone had a nice Easter if you celebrated, and I hope that you all had a nice weekend. I sure did. I went home um, to visit my family. They live about three hours away from me, so drove down there and um, spent some time with them and went out to eat, and it was just really nice. So I went ahead and I did my budget breakdown, so let me grab my iPad. Here we go. Okay, so here is my budget breakdown for this paycheck. So what we have is $14.50 for my full-time job, and then we have $30 this week from Side Hustles, and that is from Etsy. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my Etsy shop, for downloading my printable saving challenges. I just, I really appreciate you guys. So it is right here on the screen if you are interested, and it is always linked in the description box below. So that gave us a total of $14.80. We're putting $190 into cash envelopes. And then we're going to be putting $785 into our sinking funds and we will be putting the rest in our savings challenges for the next video. So I'm going to just put this aside right here so I can use it as a reference. And let's go ahead and get started with our cash envelopes and you guys, nothing. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. Oh, this could not come fast enough. All the envelopes are empty. So let's go ahead and replenish. So I'm going to be putting $60 into gas. Let's see. That's 20, 40, 60. So we'll put 60 in here. And then we are going to put 60 in groceries as well. Let's see, 20, 40, 60. Yep, $60 in groceries. And I'm gonna have to go get some groceries today. And shout out to Chris from Chris Budgets. So I don't know what was going on with Walmart grocery pickup um, last week or was that the week before, but we got the complete wrong order and we didn't realize till we drove 20 minutes home got upstairs everything in the order was completely wrong so luckily i was able to call and get a refund but yeah we just we really need to get some food so i'll be using that today for eating out i'm gonna bump up eating out this week and i'm gonna put 50 dollars. i usually put like 20 dollars, but we've been eating out a lot and plus we're moving so we're not trying to buy a whole lot of groceries so that 50 dollars will come in handy and then for spending this week for spending i'm gonna give myself a 20 dollars so I'm gonna put that in here for spending and then we had nothing left again. So there is nothing for miscellaneous, but that's okay. One of these days, one of these days, we're gonna have some rollover, you guys. So my cash envelopes are ready. And I'm gonna set this aside and this will go into my wallet. So next up, we are going to stuff, let's do our high priority sinking funds. So nope, actually let me start with medical so let me go ahead and open this so i'm trying something new you guys let me try to open this binder y'all know me and this binder is a struggle okay so what i did was i took the change out of my wallet and i put it in here just so that i can remember to start filling up my coin jar so i'm going to move my coin jar over here and let's put these coins in here hopefully it's not too loud for you guys are you guys like keeping your change and saving it? I haven't done this since I was little. I used to always have like a piggy bank or something, but I'm excited. I'm excited to count this at the end of the year, see how much we saved. Okay. So that is going to be all of our change. And then let's see. Okay, medical is getting 18. So I think, let me see, I'm gonna make some change. 
So medical has 51, um, 102. So I'm gonna take a $20 bill and then I'm gonna put the two back. So we should have 120, yep. So 120, putting that back in medical. And then we also have in here student loans, but I am not going to stuff student loans right now just because we got another extension um, for our student loans. So I'm thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna just put money into other things and then I'll pick back up saving for um, student loans in a few weeks. But yeah, so that's gonna be all for this binder. And then next, let's go into high priorities. So that's in our pink. Okay, and oh, you guys, so <laughs> in my last video, I was telling you all about, um, I was trying to make some $500 placeholder slips, so here they are. They're not perfect, but I think I did pretty good. <laughs> what you guys think? Let me know. So I definitely could not sell these because if you look up close, it's like, ooh, girl, but they're good enough. They're good enough for me. I can't figure out how to like get them laminated straight. So I need to figure that, figure that out. If you can see, like you can kind of see like the lines from where I was cutting and it's a whole thing, but I think they're pretty cute. So we got our 5K slips for when we do our next um, bill exchange. So then an emergency, emergency is going to get $10. And let's see, I believe we just have our 1K slip in here. So that's 10. So we have $1,010 for emergency. And then next we have savings. So savings this week is getting $60. So let's grab 20, 40, 60. And we'll put that in here. So in total, saving has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 540, 545, 550. So we have $550 which is so nice. So we'll be coming up to our next 1K slip soon for savings. So next we have moving. So moving has a 1K slip as well. Um, I put this money in the bank. So we have $60 left and we are going to be stuffing 40. So let's see, let me put this in order. So we have 1,000, 50, 70, 90, um, 100. So we have $1,100 towards our move. And with the $1,000, that was enough to cover like the um, the U-Haul pod and things like that. But now I'm just stuffing a little bit extra for miscellaneous things, boxes, um, packing tape, all those kind of things that are associated with our move. Um, and then debt. So y'all... I jinxed myself. I came on here in my last video. I'm talking about, ooh, like, I don't know what's going on. Ever since I started stuffing, I haven't gotten anything in the mail. Went and checked the mail. Sure enough, there was a ticket in there. So um, <laughs> I took $100 out of here so we could pay that parking ticket. Or no, it was a speeding ticket, excuse me. Um, uh, yeah, so we paid that $100. So now I only have $5 left in here but it's okay that's what this envelope was for and i'm just i'm happy that i had it and i had it to pay and we didn't let it roll over because if you wait 30 days to pay it they double the price so we're gonna put a 20 and we have 25 now in debt so we will just work our way up building that back up again so the job the job is also empty i um recently had to buy some flights and things for my job um, I was reimbursed, so I'm just going to put that money back in here. So that's going to be $300. So 100, 203. So we will put that in here. Um, and if you are new here, so I am frequently going to conferences and doing a lot of traveling for my job. And it does require me to pay up front and then I am reimbursed. So I'm always putting money in here, taking money out. So you'll see this envelope is frequently empty um, just because I am using it. Um, okay, so next we have luxury. So luxury, we are going to get $5 today. So let's see, for luxury, we have 50, 60, 65, 70. We're getting close to $100, which is exciting. I'm very interested in getting a um, Louis Vuitton on the go tote. Um, so it'll be a while before I get there, but we're almost to $100, so that's exciting. For day night, day night is getting $100 this week. 
So we have been really enjoying um, going out to dinner or going out for drinks. So $100 hopefully will cover that for the next two weeks. And then self-care. So self-care is getting $50. So I do want to save up to get my hair done and I wanna go and get my nails done and my toes done. So we're gonna just start building that back up. So we have 50 and then we have 60, $60 in self-care. And that is everything for high priorities. So next let's move on to our lower priorities. So that is going to be in this blue binder here. So starting with household. So I did use the money out of household just because I had charged some things on um, my debit card and I like to just um, replace that money. So household is now empty and household is going to be getting $40 this week. So let's say 20 and 40. Next, we are going to have car maintenance. So car maintenance is getting a five and I will be using this shortly, probably um, this weekend. Let's do five ones actually. One, two, three, four, five. Um, when I get my car inspected, so I'll be using that. Let's see. In total for car maintenance, we have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50 dollars. So that should be plenty to get my car inspected. Um, gifts. So gifts this week is going to be getting $110. So we'll put 100 and a 10. And this is just because Mother's Day is coming up. Birthdays are coming up. Father's Day, graduations. There are just so many things that we're going to need to have some gifts for. So in gifts, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. So we have $200 for gifts and I'm just trying to get um, this beefed up as much as we can to cover some of those expenses. Um, okay, clothes. So clothes has, let's see, clothes has 45 and we're gonna be putting a 10. I've seen some dresses online. Dresses are my weakness. I don't know about you guys. If I see a cute dress, I just have to have it. I think half my closet is, is dresses, maxi dresses, midi dresses, just any kind of dress sent in my way. So I do want to order some new things. And since we are moving to Texas and the weather is so nice there most of the year, I'm excited. I have an opportunity to wear all of the things. So we have so far in clothes, 20, 40, 50, 55. We have $55 which is exciting. So next we have invest. So I did take the money that was out of here and I invested it into my Roth IRA and I am taking investing slowly um, right now just because I have some other things that are a little bit higher on my list. But I am, um, yeah, I'll just take the five. I am going to put $5 in um, investing and every little bit helps you guys. Even if you can't do um, hundreds of dollars, if you can't max it out, you know, just put what you can and it'll it'll still grow. So wedding is going to get $20. We'll put our last 20 in here. So in wedding, we have 120, 40, 60, 160 towards our future wedding. And then for my new car. So you guys, I'm, I have a dilemma. So I really want to sell my car. I just I guess I'm hesitant just because I feel like it's going to be a tedious process, but it may not. If you've sold a car before, please let me go. Let me know. <laughs> Did it go quickly? Was it stressful? Um, so we are moving to Texas and we we have two cars and I don't really drive my car that much because I'm working from home right now. Um, so I just think it would be easier to sell one of the cars and then we'll drive the other car, especially with what they're paying for cars right now. I just think, you know, I'll get the most out of what I'm going to get out of that car right now. Um, but, but please let me know. Let me know if you've sold a car recently. How was your experience? So in new car, we have 20, 40, 50, and I am putting $5. One, two, three, four, five. So we should have 55. Let me just double check. 20, 40, 50, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. 55 for a new car. And I wouldn't get a new car right away when we moved there because like I said, I still would be working remotely. But in a couple years, um, you know, I would put that money that I got for my old car and then put that towards something new. So then this last $5, we are going to put in a home for our future home. We have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We have $50 in new home. 
And if you guys have made it this far into the video, I do just want to share with you guys, I have a collab giveaway over on Instagram with Hawaii Mom Budgets. I love her. I love her aesthetic. I love her channel. She's such a vibe. So we are doing a collab giveaway over on Instagram. So here is the information. Make sure you are publicly subscribed to both of our YouTube channels and make sure you follow us on Instagram. The rest of the information is right here in the post. I just wanted to share it with you guys here because I'm going to share it with my fam over on Instagram. So if you're not following me, go ahead and do so. It'll be a perfect time for you to enter the giveaway and make sure you follow her as well so that is it you guys i appreciate you all for watching i'm gonna see you next time bye